All right, brothers. How was your Thanksgiving breaks? You stuffed your faces. Long and great. I know. Um, I probably gained weight. Probably you haven't weighed in. No, I'm afraid. Are you guys doing weight loss challenge? Mm, no, we haven't been. It's been a year long challenge. That's. Mm. <laughs> I'm down to 194. I'm under the twos. Ben, we're probably like the same weight. Right, right now. What really, Ben? <laughs> You've been doing a little yeah. weight loss. Good for you. Something like that, yeah. Good for he, you. You got the stomach flu twice. <laughs> Here's. <laughs> Uh, so last year, somebody commented on one of our old YouTube videos, the the top 10 of 2023, and I guess at the very end, we made predictions for the year 2024. And really? Here, the predictions were, Adam predicted, Dodgers are going to win the World Series this year. <laughs> nice. And that guy was like, good job, Adam. <laughs> nice prediction. And you said, Josiah is going to le- lose 35 pounds in the potato diet. Yikes. That one did not happen. <laughs> Yikes. <laughs> you mean game Anything else? Did we say anything else? Anything about the presidential yeah. election? <laughs> nope. Anything? Didn't mention anything about that. Just Dodgers World Series, Josiah loses weight. There's still time, Joe. <laughs> <laughs> not enough. <laughs> not 35 pounds time. <laughs> So I take I, when I do the challenges, I take pictures of my weight, right? And that's because it helps do you me. delete them. No, that's the sad part. Sometimes I scroll through my pictures and I'll be like, "That Ugh. was a year ago." Ugh. <laughs> you I'll, need to post those on the wall <laughs> on your wall. That's cool. No. Print them out. No, it's like I feel bad. I'm like, look how hard I was trying, and it was all worthless. I bet Ben's right. If you posted a picture of your weight at school. Not at school, just n- kids will be on you all the time. You're like, at your you front know? door. When yeah. people approach your front door, yeah. this, this they see what way. you look like. I need to just look at it in the mirror every day. <laughs> oh, hey, look, there's another fat loser again. You don't look in the mirror? Yeah. No, Once the, a day? no, I mean, like, print them off and like tape them to the mm. mirror. Your weight right next to you. So you yeah. can't look at yourself without seeing mm-hmm. the number. <sighs> well, I can't remember the last star one we did. So. <laughs> We have Do we a, just jump? We have into- a pole. Joe has pole, I'm sure. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's yeah, a guy yeah. jumping over a Lamborghini, and there's all kinds of fun ones going on last week. Okay. Oh, yeah. We had we had some good ones. Let's see. Episode 221. Well, we I had, say we last did. week, and I mean a month ago. It was November 12th. This is three weeks ago. <laughs> okay, well. Uh, a, guy jumped o- a guy jumped over, tried to jump over a Lambo on a racetrack, and uh, he got killed, obviously. He actually jumped like too early or something, like and then Kobe went underneath the- yeah. Um, we had a guy who was trying to bomb his neighbor's car, and it exploded while he was attaching the bomb. Mm-hmm. We had a guy who was at his own wedding doing a traditional dance holding a knife, and he stabbed Wait, it himself. it was his own the- wedding? Yeah, that was his wedding. He's the oh, groom. I didn't know that. Old. Hold on. <laughs> that was the, one of the winners of uh, last year. Some guy was stabbing himself yes, that's during right. a dance. Yeah. This guy, it was amazing, man. I had a video, and he held the knife to his chest, and then he hit his hand like like this. <laughs> he stabbed himself in the heart, and he kept dancing. <laughs> really and then we had the guy it. who dared to sit upon fireworks. Now, now you said you have an update about that yes, fireworks story. I do have an update to that story because there are a lot more details than originally thought. Mm. The, uh, the, the, the dare by the friends of that was actually they said they're going to give him a new rickshaw. If he did it. And what it was is he sat under like a giant, one giant firework that was a cardboard box was over it. And they lit it and he sat on top of the cardboard box and exploded. Basically is what happened. Oh my gosh. But he was doing it to get a new rickshaw. (laughs) Poor guy. He just wanted (laughs) a new rickshaw. He was also drunk too. (laughs) Definitely. They were all drunk. Yeah. Well... Our winner was the man who was dared by his friends to sit uh, upon a box of fireworks. Nice. nice. He won. Yeah. Lambo came close, but he was the winner. Nice. All right. Well, uh, Adam, spinning Adam do you wheel? have the spinning wheel? Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Well, hold on. Did, well, did you hear that? Uh, I've got a couple articles, articles here that say scientists say that NASA lander may have accidentally killed life on Mars in previous miss- missions. <laughs> so they might have Darwined Mars. Right Wait, away. what? <laughs> well, they landed there. They landed on some little cells that were on the ground. 
killed it. They squished the only alien on Mars. <laughs> the rocket burned it coming down. Something. Wow. Yeah. What the, what the heck kind of... Is that from the Babylon Bee or the Onion or something? No, it says NASA's Viking Mission 1 in 1976 saw two spacecraft land on the red planet's surface conducting an experiment involving mixing water and nutrients with collected soil samples. And they feel like that might have killed it, maybe? stirred up uh, stirred up some life and they killed it. Oh. Is there is there a video of the that landing on Mars? It's because... 1976. I yeah, don't believe that even good, happened. Good. I don't believe it. You know, it I heard that when Trump gets in office, he's going to release all of the... UFO, moon landings, and moon landing, all the stuff. Let's do it. So we'll, let's make it a weird year. Yeah, so we'll, see all the, all the, <laughs> we'll know the moon landing is fake. We're gonna know that. <laughs> all right. Should I spin Earth this is, wheel or what? The Earth is clearly flat. Oh yeah, we know that. <laughs> all right, let's do the spin. Do we have like a spinning music? No, it goes. Montage? You can't hear it, but it made some noises. It's ben. ben, why does Ben always right. win the spin? I don't like know. that rhyme. I don't know. Ben wins the spin. Nice rhyme. Yeah. Here comes Uttar Pradesh. Oh. You're all familiar India. with this specific area of land in India. It's where the a most of, idiots uh, die in a year, pretty sure. Yep. Well, I don't know. It's probably, it's probably the most popular. It probably area. is one of the highest in the world. There's... Several ways to die in India. Um, name a few, and I bet you'll hit one. Uh, hanging yourself Go. in a fake YouTube video. Or in a fake, that's uh, one. TikTok. Not it. You get your neck chopped by a kite string when you're Ooh, going by on your motorcycle. That's a good one. I haven't had that in a while. Mm, no. Doing a selfie in front of a train. It does have involve a train, so there you go. Oh, is it this snakes? Is, uh, there's snakes on this train? There's no snakes on this train okay. that I know of. <laughs> I, I do find it interesting that this is an air conditioned train. You mean that has windows? <laughs> I don't know. Air, did it come from China into India and it just happened to be a good train? <laughs> it's it's nice on its train. way back or something? It's a Polar Express. No, it, it, it could have been a bus. It says roadway bus, but it said it was a train. Oh, no, it's a bus. Never mind. It's a bus. <laughs> okay. <laughs> well, Doesn't matter. Well, That's not the same thing. We've at had all. a few bus stories, a few of them. Still, an air conditioned bus. It's in there in Uttar Pradesh. Mm -hmm. Still is uh, mm -hmm. questionable. Forty-five-year-old man uh, sitting in an air-conditioned conditioned, uh, bus in Uttar Pradesh um, it was chewing some pan. Uh, you know what pan is? Is that gum or bread? What is that? It's a type of leaf wrapped around a, a ricea nut, and then they combine it with like cloves and cardamom, and they chew on it for a while. Oh, that it's could be like, good. It's like, like, good. like good old spitting tobacco. Kind of. Okay. Like I made okay. a version of it, I guess. Yeah. I like it. The pandas eat that? <laughs> no. Nope. They eat, <laughs> they eat freaking... Are you thinking about like uh, camels or, or cow that you cut or whatever? They just keep <laughs> chewing, chewing, chewing. So let me guess. He had to spit it out at the top sure of the bus. Did. On the very top of the bus. Oh, Allegedly, no. uh, he opened the door, oh, no. stuck his head out to spit the pan out of the vehicle, <laughs> and boom, fell right out. Oh, he fell. Oh, oh he thought, fell out. I thought the uh, old decapitation. Passing, yeah, yes. some passing like thing hit him in his head or something, but no, he just Now, fell here's out. the thing. The bus was approaching its stop. There's a bus, a bus reached the village. Uh, a passenger opened the door of the moving bus to spit. He lost his balance, fell into the road, hitting his head, and he died. Interesting. Wow. He, he didn't have time for the bus to stop to spit his pan out, and so he died. That's an embarrassing way to die, you know. Yes, it is. I um, I almost fell off a roof once. It was really high. And we were it's not the same thing. <laughs> well, hold on. Were you we were, were you chewing tobacco? No, but we were client. We were cleaning up like these. Uh, it was after hurricanes. So we cleaned up these trees that had fallen up on the building, and we were chopping them up. And then I was like going to the edge and throwing. This must have been in Mexico when you were on your mission, because I don't see you doing good other than that. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't done anything good since then. <laughs> Where? Well, was it? <laughs> but when I was throwing it off, I realized my momentum was going with it. And I'm like, why am I doing this? And I almost went off the edge on one of those. And, and I almost died. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Have you ever tried Joe spitting out a window? I, I don't think while that, you're, that would While you're driving, just kind of spit... Yeah, way. opening your door. Oh yeah, doing it. and it kind of gets on you. It never goes well. Never doesn't go. 
<laughs> Sunflower seeds come back at you. So this dude couldn't wait till the bus stopped? Maybe. Apparently not. Well, he's got a mouthful of spit. It's gross. Can't hold it any longer? Yeah. How long? How full is your mouth going to get? This is, this is disgusting. <laughs> <laughs> Open the air conditioning window. It's India, though. You can throw it on. You just spit it on the ground, right? I mean, you can spit it in the train. I'm right? assuming everybody's just, stepping on it anyway. <laughs> so a spitting man. This is a good uh, tombstone. He died spitting pan. Pan. Yeah, I want to look this stuff up. This I've never pan had stuff. any pan before. I Double A. Oh, P A A N. Like non. Oh, okay. I guess you can call it pawn. Pa pa pawn. It's an after dinner treat. Oh my gosh, look at this Whoa. stuff. It looks amazing. Why is he spitting? <clears throat> okay, you, this isn't what I thought pawn it was. in India or are you just typing the word pawn? Pawn Indian food. Indian it's after called. dinner dessert. Okay, okay. Let me share this uh, so you can check this out. It often acts like caffeine, a stimulant, and is addictive. Okay. Oh, commonly consumed after meals. Yeah, okay, yeah. yeah. decay of teeth, yeah. And you do yeah, chew about- on it. It just the picture doesn't make sense. You know, yeah, that doesn't look appetizing. It's more appetizing than most Indian Look at the one in the middle. Uh, it's a lot like, of them it's like contain a, tobacco. It says it's like a it's like a poop spread. Oh, it up says there in addition, spitting of pan juice in public has drawn fines in certain areas of India. <laughs> <laughs> oh, look at this! That? Obama, Obama's yeah. eating it. <laughs> <laughs> it's dripping down his face. Pan wow. <laughs> and there's Big Mike right there, right next to him. Interesting. <laughs> All right. I thought they would like that. All right, let's spin the wheel again. <laughs> let's move on to the next. All right. Really, though, do you have a noise when we're playing this? Yeah, it, just, we you just can't sound. hear it on our headphones, but it shows up on his microphone. Oh. Is that Josiah. me? Yes. You wanted to go second? Yes. Say best for last. Okay. Okay. Okay, here we go. Let me get this out of the language. Okay, this story... It was published in the U.S. Sun. It's called, it's about an influencer that dies. I have some tragic footage to show to you, but beware, it may be shocking to you. Really? So, is he electrocuted? No, this is a lady. (sighs) Dancing. Hey, lady. And this is CCTV footage. From where again? What'd you say? I missed that part. Russia? It doesn't say. The whole video doesn't say. Well, uh, Brazil. Uh, Northern Brazil. Brazil. She's 24 years old. Her name is Amanda. From Brazil? I don't believe it. <laughs> Amanda, I <laughs> guess. Oh, Adam. <laughs> That's the stupidest <laughs> joke. I think I got, like, detention so many times for calling girls that in Amanda, middle school. Amanda Hug and Amanda Kiss. Amanda Hug and Kiss. This is Amanda right here. You can see her picture. Yeah, she, she looks like an Amanda Hug and Kiss. I agree. She was filming herself in sitting on the car door of a car that was driving down the road filming. You know what I mean? It looks like there's three other individuals on the other side. Yes, this whole car is full of idiots. Let's uh, play the video. You want to see? It's from far away. Warning, it contains some very distressing scenes. It's very short. That's what the... uh, And goodbye. (laughs) That was it. That was it. (laughs) They'll show it again. (laughs) Where was she? Out the window? Yep, Yep, she was sitting 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 on the edge. Oh, of yes. the car. Yeah. It's like she had no core strength to yeah. pull herself up yeah. whatsoever. Yeah, it's drunk. like she had no Definitely abs. Drunk. She was drunk. Yes. Mm. She's 24 years old. She slipped into the road before hitting another car. She was taking a selfie on her phone, and and uh, they happened to get it on CT- CCTV footage. The people driving the car are not in trouble. Everybody else in the car is not in trouble. Hmm. She's just like trying to get some cool footage of herself she outside She didn't look car. like Wait, was she from Brazil? Did she look Brazilian or was she on vacation there? She looked from the CCTV footage, she looked like Bigfoot. You know, like from that, you know, that Bigfoot <laughs> footage from the 70s? <laughs> well, yes. I mean, but the picture they had above of her, was that like an American? Yeah, yeah. Like, nah. No, she's know. Brazilian. Amanda, like Ben said? I can kiss. <laughs> her name okay. is really Amanda dos Santos Barbosa. Okay. I didn't, that's what it says. What, you don't you know, believe that? In America, I think the driver would have been charged with an involuntary manslaughter, yeah, right? Probably. If you're letting people sit outside your window. Mm-hmm. You're probably right. Stupid rules here. Yes. They're trying to find more information about why she was sitting on the edge. Why? Mm-hmm. See, now now that is what's frustrating. I don't know what kind of taxes Brazil- Brazilians pay, but if they're going to pay $1 to look into why she was taking a selfie on the side Correct. of a car, yes. Wait. Well, you know why. 
she's an idiot taking a picture. That's it. That's Have you ever case that closed. footage like, they can come up with? I feel like there's cameras everywhere. <laughs> it's Why does only CCTV footage look like the, I don't know, FaceTime of the, on 3G back in the day? I don't know. <laughs> You think they'd get have high def, right? And it's, 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 they're so cheap. These high def cameras these days. Just get something good. You're saying what well, you're saying makes a lot of sense, Adam. Or it's you're if, you're watching a recording of a recording of a recording that people are reposting. That's probably them. what it is. That's probably what it is. I don't. I think I've been in a car and sat on the dry, the passenger side window and driven. <laughs> I have not well, I threw water balloons once like that, but that's about it. That's. For, that, Senior From, assassination. Or okay, whatever. well, you could die that way. <laughs> well, ben, we have you ever fast. driven we in a minivan with the door like... all the way open? <laughs> newspapers. I don't know, probably, newspapers. but I didn't die. Yeah. We did throw newspapers on, on our delivery route out the van door. Yep. Yeah, we were going like eight miles an hour at four in the morning. Correct. Yeah. <laughs> did this lady seem like she was going really fast in that <laughs> yeah, car to going you? like... 30-ish, she, the car could not have been moving, and she would have fallen and died yeah, the way she felt. She just disappeared, fell right on her head. She had, you're right though. She had no abs. She couldn't hold herself up. Classic Amanda. All right, all right. Let's take a quick break. We'll come back with our award nominee number three. Joe, where's your snacks? Your wife hasn't brought you any snacks. Yet. I'm off the snacks. Quite frankly, I must say that this is really an excellent podcast. I think they're doing a tremendous job. And I don't know about you, but we should pay these guys. I mean, they deserve it. And we should uh, give them $5 per month for their content. Believe me, they aren't fake news. And I don't know, maybe we should uh, listen to them a little more. They really have something special. I've actually... And I'm not sure I should be saying this, but I've um, spent a lot of money on their archive content. It's really something I enjoy, and they really deserve it. So I got back from Thanksgiving, and I had to go pick up our fish. You still have it? Let the neighbors take care of <laughs> Yes, it's been almost two years now, Ben. Wow. Two years. These kids love that fish. We still have ours, no, too. I. They would not be devastated if it died. They'd just be like, all right. Oh. Do they clean it yeah, at all? Yeah, they clean the tank and they feed it every day. Oh, but, Ben. Uh, we, that, okay, just the last couple of weeks, that fish has started to swim funny. You know, like head down, <laughs> tail way up. <laughs> we've, been trying, getting time. we've been trying to warn Joe. I looked like, it up. It said like two years is a normal lifespan of one of these fish, though. So. Yeah. He's is Joe going to get upset? Oh, yeah. He already is. He already was when the, when he was sick, you know. Uh, He's better Did now. he ever thank me? I, I, don't, I never got a thank you. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I'll, 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 sure. yeah. I'll make sure he thanks you for shark bait. Ben will pay for the funeral of a fish. <laughs> I'll send him a replacement. We're going to have to have a funeral, <laughs> like a real one. <laughs> <laughs> in my family. <laughs> All right. Yeah, I'm going to bring my story now. Story number three. This is actually coming out of Maryland. I don't know if we've had one out of Maryland. This is... um. It happened at an Amtrak station in the middle of the night when there Maryland. were not trains coming. Where is Joe Biden from? Is he from Maryland? I don't know. So, somewhere is it there. Delaware? Sorry, Delaware. Delaware. Well... This guy died doing something we've all either thought about or done once in our life. Okay, so he's at an Amtrak station at night, mm-hmm. and he's doing something we've all thought about doing. I've well, done it. I have I have flattened pennies. Is that what he's trying to do? <laughs> no, oh, no. That's, that's an a interesting good idea. guess, but no. Did, did he try to jump the turnstile? Oh, that's a good one, too. No. This is uh, involves an escalator. Oh, sliding down an escalator. Oh, he tried right? to slide down the Not middle? Not slide down. I've, he tried to run up the down escalator. Oh, well, that's not well, dangerous. I've done that. Yeah, yeah. I've done that well, too. it is dangerous because he died from it. <laughs> How? <laughs> According to the surveillance head. footage revealed, this man started to climb the stairs around midnight. He almost made it to the top before things took a turn. Just before reaching the upper landing, he lost his balance and fell backwards. I was hoping you'd be like, <laughs> uh, around. he almost reached the top around 
12, 15. <laughs> 15 minutes later. <laughs> he was exhausted. He had a heart attack. Dude, he got all the way to the top and then fell backwards. On the he fell course. backwards. And when he came, when he's tumbling all the way down and he hit his head at the bottom. Oh, jeez. Escalators need to be updated. Those things yes. look like razor blades. I know. And I, how, why is there no carpeted? I don't know, I don't I don't know why well, they like can't death figure machines. this out. Unfortunately, it wasn't the head hitting the ground that killed him. What killed him is his clothes got caught in the escalators, powerful mechanisms pulling him down and trapping him. Oh, so hold on. No. He fell, and then it took him back up to the top where no, it sucked him in? No, com- because they're coming down. They're coming right? down, so it sucked him so in the oh, bottom. Oh, he's going up. He's going up to the down. That's yeah. right. So when he fell, the ba- bottom hit his head. His clothes got sucked in the mechanism. And it <sighs> this is a catastrophe. <laughs> <laughs> the worst possible scenario just happened. <laughs> <laughs> also, if it's late at night, no one's there. Why are you going up the down? Well, yeah, Just go up the up. That's... The interesting thing is that nobody found him for a while because until people started coming on to the train in the morning. The commuter train in the morning, yeah, they just looked down. So it was the Uh-oh. was the escalator, like, did it shut off on its own or just keep trying to pull him in the entire night until somebody got there? It said, uh, it says by the time the morning commuters arrived, it was too late. His clothing remained stuck in the escalator's teeth, hinting the terrible series of events. Ugh. Okay, <laughs> is this that stupid? This isn't that stupid. Running up an escalator is not that <laughs> it's not stupid. Smart. <laughs> Dying from it is. Yeah, but it's not. You don't think you don't run up an escalator and think this is a, such a risky thing I'm doing. I might die. Well, it's <laughs> dying from it is. There's, there's a lot of things on this podcast you don't think you're gonna die, but you do. Like hanging Christmas lights. I don't how know do you, you? Oh, how do you? How do you die? He tried to run up an escalator. Like <laughs> he tried to. Run. <laughs> Yeah. It's like, well, how would that happen? <laughs> yep. That's Dale for you. Sounds like something he would do. I feel okay, like I've what, done it successfully before. I oh, was. yeah. Oh, yeah. Everybody's done it. I've done it with my kids. <laughs> we'll see if but, we can make it to the top. <laughs> it's even more embarrassing when nobody's around to see it, you know? And you're like, oh, man. You know what I hate more than that hmm. is at airports when people are, are walking the wrong way on purpose on those like traveling ones oh, that go straight. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They're like trying to run on it, and, like be funny. I hate it when people are clogging that up, just sitting there like it's a ride. I'm going to start tripping. Move people. over. I get going by here. Do you have on the moving sidewalks? No. Yeah. 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 Moving right. sidewalks. Yeah. Those are annoying. Those uh, should be all over town, by the way. Every town. All over. Town. Just the whole sidewalk. Yeah. Yeah. The you just whoosh around, around everywhere you go. Heaviest weight ever. <laughs> <laughs> I'm tired of walking. <laughs> I don't want to walk anywhere. I can't walk. You know, this they should much. have those, at least at schools. You know, <laughs> <clears throat> we don't have obesity problems as it is. Uh, yeah, you're right. It should be they have to walk against it. You know, work harder to get the class. Now, if we had traveling sidewalks, there'd be problems with some obese people saying it stops when I get on it. It won't pull me. <laughs> it's just fat abuse. They're gonna have to like yep. outlaw it, or I don't know. Well, we would have to be super sized for Americans, right? We'd have to be like serious. We're talking, we're talking like the Ford. Hold on, know. we're we're still staving off trying to pay one ticket price for two seats. Okay, <laughs> we're, we're we're still working on not having Joe's that. Just picturing us like the people of Wally. You know that movie in the end. Where yeah, it's, yeah. We're, it's getting close. <laughs> <laughs> we're getting there. You know who's going to fix that though? You know who's going to make <laughs> us healthy again over here? Oprah. <laughs> The title of this article, by Dr. the way, was, Oz. was Man Dies After Attempting Wrong Way Escalator Challenge at Amtrak. I don't get that it's one. It's not a challenge. Is it a challenge? The escalator? It's not a challenge. That's I think they, we should start it again. I just think it should be a thing. That's Everyone a good idea. always go up to down. More exercise. TikTok Escalator Challenge. Can you do it? Go to the top, lose your balance, fall to the bottom, and see if you get sucked in. No, see if you can. <laughs> <laughs> if you fall just right. <laughs> Uh, okay. Wear your wedding dress with the long train on it. <laughs> see if you can beat yeah, the escalator up at teeth. <laughs> see if you can make it to the top. <laughs> Wear your baggiest pants. <laughs> no shoes, long socks. All right. Looks like it's time to move to the lightning round. Okay, in this round, we're all going to be bring a headline or a title of a story, and we will vote on the one we'd like to hear and add it to our first three stories. Um, I don't know who goes first anymore. We're all over the place. 
but uh, I can go first if you want. Okay, go for it. I have a man who is trying to jump onto a moving dump truck. Okay. Is this during a like a, a movie? Is it a stunt? We'll no, find out. Not a stunt. Is it a garbage truck? Was he trying to get his garbage back? It's a dump truck. <laughs> well, it's not going to the dump. So it's it has a dump dirt. truck. <laughs> this is in Puerto Rico. I'm get my dirt. <laughs> A uh, 24-year-old man dies while putting up Christmas lights. Oh, it is the season. Mm, I've been mm-hmm. doing that last week and the week before. Oh, I got I got a lot up. I can't wait to get more. Did he just fall off the roof, Joe? Because I don't want to hear this. No. Come mm. on, it's a good story. I promise. Actually, I know the story, so I'm not going to compliment, but I have a funny thing, but I'll skip it. Um... Did you know that uh, in Croatia, they had a war for their independence around 1995, and uh, resulting in a lot of uh, citizens gaining a lot of uh, ammunition and guns and explosives they shouldn't have. Anyways, Hmm. this involves a party in Croatia and a hand grenade. (laughs) So you're telling me because of their war in 95, they have so many arms, they take them with them to parties. For 20 yes, they, years They, they got them lying around their house. Are they playing hot potato? <laughs> well, this could be interesting. I, I, I'm ashamed I to tell you, explosive. I don't know where Croatia is on a map. So It's right by Serbia. It's by Kamchatka. Oh, well, the Serbians. You can't point that out either, Wonderful can you? Wonderful people. Such a nice people. Yeah, that's uh, by Egypt. I'll tell you what, it's across the sea, across the, uh, the, uh, the yeah, I guess it's the sea from Italy. Oh. The oh. Adriatic Sea oh. separates British Italy Columbia. and Croatia. According to Seinfeld, the Serbians are fanatical about their showers. And they have this, like, blasting shower <laughs> <It's> heads. Elephant. <laughs> All right, let's move on. Uh, I we got to go Christmas story. Heard... Come on, Adam. Yes. Okay. Vince has heard it before, so it must be good. Mm-hmm. I, I, I passed by it, but Joe read the headline before I could do it, and I wanted to use it, mm-hmm. so I'm going to go with Joe. Christmas all right. Die. I'm all about Christmas right now. I have mistletoe hanging at my work at the, at, right at the doorway. I told my son to That's wait underneath it with his eyes closed and wait for kids to walk by. <laughs> Your teacher has it mistletoe? It is very weird. For the students, I mean. Well, not for me. You should just stand there puckering when they <laughs> walk by. So now that would be bad. <laughs> oh, no, what you should do is a... Uh, Cut out that image of of Trump kissing the flag and just have Trump with his Lips. mouth okay. out waiting right as they door. walk by. <laughs> Who kisses That's him? controversial. They could get COVID from that. This is a twenty year old, twenty four year old California man in San Diego County. They're allowed to put up Christmas. I was lights just in San Diego recently. Put weekend. them up on their palm trees. Hmm. Uh, he was hanging the lights near a high voltage power line. Uh, Mm-hmm. When he threw the lights mm-hmm. over the power line, <laughs> he draped it over the power line. Now, was he trying to form one of those giant Christmas trees out of lights? I don't, <laughs> I don't know. They found him hanging upside down from a tree. So he never he fell off the roof. He, he, he never <laughs> fell off the roof, Adam. <laughs> he was hanging? <laughs> no, by he the never lights? fell off. He was hanging by the lights. Yeah, That's awesome. Someone called 911, and when paramedics arrived, they found Pasquale hanging upside down from a tree. The medical Isn't that office like the said. picture of a movie? Like the front cover is a guy wrapped up in lights hanging upside down. Is that yeah, like movie? National Lampoon? Yeah, something like Christmas, that. Christmas, yeah. something. Yeah. He's know. like being electrocuted. Yeah. <laughs> wow. Well, I didn't, I didn't know power lines that were like reminds- that. Like you could just... Throw something up there and kill yourself, I guess. So. Yes, you can. If you're grounded, you don't touch the power lines whatsoever. That was just an India thing. I didn't know that was... No, that's that. an everywhere thing. How high do you have to throw it to get to the power line? Yeah, really? I mean, he's on his roof, so he's throwing it not too much higher. It's probably one of those phone Maybe lines. Maybe he was just trying to get free power like they do in Mexico. <laughs> Fair enough. I could see that, actually. <laughs> it kind of reminds me of a story, but not... Like... That is... Uh, that they called it. A, uh, I'm sorry. That they. Do you know the story of the guy who created a fake Santa falling off of his roof, oh, yeah, moving the, around? Like police called or whatever. Yes. Yeah. 
<laughs> I, I picture this being that scenario Him where people hanging are like, from a tree. Like, ah, the, the lights are still on and he's me. hanging upside you down. You got me. The, your fake guy. <laughs> I called the cops on that. Well, he had to be hung up there for an hour Ooh, because uh, they had to wait for the San Diego Gas and Electric Company to show up like and turn the power off. To a crisp or what? Yeah, you can't touch the guy, right? Yeah, they couldn't. They just had to wait. He was just sitting there for an hour. Of course, the you know what the power companies are in California. Very responsive, very good, yep. very mm-hmm. fast. Mm-hmm. Don't cause forest fires at all, you know. Uh, they He waited for an hour for them to show up. And by then, it was too late to save them. Well, it's probably... Too late after the first minute, but <laughs> an hour mattered. Possibly, yes. Probably didn't have to be cremated till then. Well, no, he's not. In fact, his his body's being sent at home, sent being sent home to Guatemala, his birth birthplace, for burial. Hmm. Surprise! He's not a native so Californian. <laughs> Surprise! He doesn't know how power lines work in the U.S. <laughs> okay. That's a great story, Joe. By That's all accounts, one. he seems like a nice 24-year-old kid who did something really stupid. So, That's How old did it to be to start calling 24-year-old, 24-year-old kids, Joe? Hmm. I think the further we get from 24, the more kid-like they are. And once your kid gets close to 24, I think you'll realize, oh, he's still just a stupid kid. Where's the <laughs> cutoff? You know? No, I think if any of you at 24, were you thinking I could throw my Christmas lights over a power line? Did that ever cross your mind? Like this is no, a bad idea. I was no, trying to get married no. at the time. I was. Even I was stupid about. though. <laughs> yeah, but not we like. I've mm, uh, been. Yeah. You were pretty stupid at twenty four, right? I mean, yeah, I'm well, not <laughs> sticking my head out of a bus to spit pan. Stupid. I mean, <laughs> none of these stories. <laughs> stupid. It's time to go for some. Maybe winners. we were the escalator. Stupid, but not. Okay. Uh, Lights. Let's do a quick recap. Recap. Uh, who brought the first one? Was it Ben? As always. Yes, I did. Darn Award nominee number one was a man trying to spit his pan tobacco in India out of his air-conditioned bus. It was a delightful treat, actually. His delightful treat out Desert. of his bus, and he went flying out the bus and, and died. Story number two, was that me? Yeah. Story number two was an Amanda influencer, Huggins. a social media influencer named Amanda, sitting on the edge of a moving vehicle on like the passenger door, and she fell out. Because she skipped she half just day. just flopped like a, fit, like a fish, just kind of <laughs> bloop. Uh, Darn Award nominee number three was Adam. It was out of... Maryland. Maryland. It was a man going up the escalator that was going, a down escalator and uh, fell and hit his head and got sucked into the escalator. Mm-hmm. And then number four was the man who was hanging Christmas lights over a power line. Mm. This is a tough vote. Tough vote. And I believe Adam needs to spin the wheel to decide who votes first. <laughs> Is that how it goes? <laughs> right. I you guess like that's what we're doing now. All the time. I don't like the wheel anymore now. Okay, you can't hear the wheel for some reason. <laughs> Ta-da! We can't see who that is. Ben, you get to vote I first. I vote first. Ben Ooh. for Ben. Present your arguments, Ben. Okay, well, mm. the dumbest is... Um, I'm going to... Story one and two aren't going to fall down the wayside for me. I mean, they're great stories. Really? Happens all the time. Okay. Three and four piqued my interest. Uh, I think number four is the most deserving, but Adams, to me, is the stupidest for some reason. It's just late at night. This guy's trying to race up a down escalator and he gets eaten by it. That's great. I think it's the That's funniest. Great. I agree. I think four is the most... Maybe it's stupid of all of them. Darwin worthy. Dar- Dar- most Darwin. I think the Christmas you're, Ben's lore. right. I think one and two are you know more in our po- have been played on our podcast. You know, falling out of a window, things like that have happened. Mm, okay. Well, are we deciding on Darwin Awards? Or are we deciding on what's what's the most unique? <laughs> you know, okay. our votes don't even matter. My vote matters. Okay. <laughs> it did this year, but in now, this democracy, <laughs> there's just three votes. Okay, so <laughs> I'm voting third party, I guess, and I'm going escalator so story. So Ben's voted escalator. And Adam has voted Christmas lights. Mm. Sure, Don't yeah, Christmas lights is Darwin. Him. I think it's Darwin. It's it's uh, it's, 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 it's the dumbest. It's thing very that possible that he just accidentally. It was like in a tree or something. He threw the Christmas lights over the top of it. And, and she know. accidentally fell out of the window. She was sitting on top of a freaking window but for no should, reason. He didn't think she was going to fall out, you know? He didn't think he was going to electrocute it. That's no, yeah, but there's no... <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, Amanda's, 
Amanda's a street creature. She is one of those people that just sits on the window of a car. The guy spitting out the door didn't think happen gonna to fall her. out either. If it wasn't, if it didn't happen to her when it did, it was going to happen to her next week or the week after. She's clearly the dumbest. That's my choice. So we are we have a three way. I, I think the first two are accidents. The second two, Ben's right, are things no. people did stupidly. And no, died. number two, stupid. Sitting she, on the edge of a moving car, taking a selfie. Yeah, it happens a lot. Sitting on a well, it doesn't make it's it any less stupid. Yeah. It's not, it's... What does not happen a lot is throwing lights onto a power line. And it happens. It's true. The uh, I think the least deserving is the guy going up the escalator. <laughs> it never happens. <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> it never happens. That's true. <laughs> he was just having fun. Yeah, I, 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 I changed him. As a I'm dad, feeling... I can do that to... Uh, I feel like Escalator is going to get the vote. I feel like that's going to get. Okay, well, we'll find out. It did, we didn't have a winner here. Do I have like a sound effect for a non-winner? Dun, 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 dun. Just a strikeout. <laughs> yeah, strike <Right> three. <laughs> okay. Right. Uh, for those of you who are patrons, or if we have any left, because we haven't been posting like we should, but and we're back though. We're back. We'll definitely put up some good ones this the rest of this month, and we have the end of the end of the year coming up, which is fun. Yeah, yeah. I don't know. Have we had a year in story? I think the last few weeks we've had a few. We're gonna have to go back uh, and and look at all of our episodes over the years, uh, this year, and find out which ones were the most memorable. We've had a lot, but I'm not going to think about them right now. I want to jump into the after party here. Hey, the- just a quick question for the end of the year one that we do, the top ten of 2024. We should all door door dash each other on the episode. Hmm? I did that All last year. Ben, Didn't ben I? DoorDash Adam, Matt DoorDash me. I DoorDash you guys something last year. What Taco was Bell. It? What was it Taco Bell? Oh, yeah. Right Adam, when the episode was going, I remember. Listen, you don't DoorDash Taco Bell. Everybody knows this. I'm amateur. sorry. It, no, I got the steak burrito, grilled cheese something. Didn't I? It's not no. good, though. <laughs> Cheesy bot? Well, maybe it did. It, it was good. It was it was welcomed. And we said we liked it a lot at the moment, Joe. Yeah, yeah I'm very I, grateful. And now listen to him. I'm sorry. Me. He's like, you shouldn't he's, have done he's, that. He's above it us. was gross. He's up there. <laughs> now he's telling you well, exactly the, how he felt. On the Patreon, we'll be talking about all our horrible food experiences.